got a function of f of x and we've got to find f dash of negative 2. So first off I need to differentiate it. So f dash of x, differentiate 3 comes down to the front. Excuse me, 3 x power decreases x squared. Power comes down to the front times by 5, so that'll be 10 x minus 1. If necessary, you could think of that as being x to the power of 1. The 1 comes down minus 1 x to the 0, and x to the 0 is 1. So that's what that is. And I've got to work out f dash of negative 2. So be careful, that means I've got to do 3 times negative 2 squared plus 10 times negative 2 minus 1, which equals that would be 4 times by 3 is 12 minus 20 minus 1. So that equals minus 8, that equals minus 9. And I've got to find the values of a such that f dash of a equals 56. So that will mean that uh, f dash a equals 56. So I'm putting in a into this expression here. So that'll be 3a squared plus 10a minus 1 equals 56. Basically, I'm replacing the x with the a. Quadratic, get it equal to 0. So that means I've got to take away 56 from both sides. So 3 a squared plus 10a minus 57 equals 0. And I think it's going to factorize 3a and a. And to get 57, I need 3 times 19. So it's going to be 19 and 3. But if I put 19 here, 3 19 is going to be a massive amount. Well, 57 actually. Uh, so I think 19 is going to have to go here and 3 is going to go there. That'll give me 9 a's and that'll give me 19, so that's good. One's positive and one's minus because it's minus 57. And I want the bigger one to be positive because I've got positive 10 a's. So that means I've got to have 3, no, 19 times 8. That's got to be positive because that will give me 19 a's minus that. Just check 3a squared minus 9a's plus 19a's makes plus 10a's and then minus 57. So I've got either 3a plus 19 equals 0 or a minus 3 equals 0 and that means that 3a equals negative 19 so a equals minus 19 over 3 or a equals 3. Is that what I've got to do? Yeah, I'll find the values of A. Doesn't ask why that crosses the curve. Those are my two answers. That's done.